In this demonstration, the white cell is ingesting yeast cells. This is the way that cells eat and destroy harmful bacteria and other microorganisms that may enter your body. White blood cells are your body's first line of defense. Not only do they destroy bacteria, but they also produce antibodies and repair wounded tissue. A cubic millimeter of your blood contains about eight to 10,000 white cells. At any point of infection or injury, white cells will gather in enormous numbers. Eventually, they help to form pus. A rise in your white blood count is one indication of a physiological problem. Now, let's observe the third cellular component of blood. Mixed with these white cells are small dark bodies, blood platelets. There are about 300,000 platelets in a cubic millimeter of your blood. A platelet is about three microns in diameter, about a third the size of a red blood cell. The main function of platelets, or thrombocytes, is to aid in the clotting of blood. We'll see how this vital function of coagulation takes place. This is fresh blood, about 10 minutes after exposure to the air. Coagulation seals a wound and stops the blood flow. We can trace the process. To make this fresh blood begin to clot, we need to add nothing but time. We'll cover 12 minutes in a few seconds with time-lapse photography. Coagulation involves a series of chemical reactions. The clot forms and separates from the remaining fluid, which is blood serum.